Yo guys, what's going on? Are you about little here and part of the thousand sub special uh this is the thumbnail tutorial and this isn't how I to make thumbnails, this is how I do my thumbnails. So just in case if you guys wanna learn how I make my thumbnails, you guys can go ahead and try it for yourself or like mix in my style with another style. It's all up to you guys. So right away, if you want to make thumbnails like this, this, or this. I usually use either replay mod or really, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> so basically, if I want to make a thumbnail with replay mod, what I do is I go into a world, multiplayer or single player. I usually use single player, download a map like a Skywars map, rank Skywars. I run around in it, do whatever, and then after that, I replay the replay <laughs> and I get a good angle of my character in the surrounding take a screenshot and and then I go into my screenshots folder and then there's a lot here but we'll use this one as an example so like here's a replay mod that I took from it as you can see this thumbnail was the 1k sub showcase something like that and yeah that's what this basically was so basically what I do for my thumbnail is I usually cut out the character and then I put effects on him and then I put some effects on the background as well. So let me go ahead and make this to a new layer. And what I do is I grab the magnetic lasso tool right here. You got to hold down for it. And then you just sort of just crop them out really. So this takes some time. So let me go ahead and do this really quickly. And there we go. We have the full cutout right here. There is a bit of the sky in between this. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get rid of that. And there we go. So what I do is I copy it. I paste it onto a new layer and then I go ahead. I turn on blending options and then I do a gradient overlay. You can copy down these settings if you want. You do an inner glow. You can go ahead and copy down those settings as well if you want. And then usually I press OK. Uh, rasterize it. I can't really pronounce that word. And then this is what I do. I go into filter gallery and then I go into crosshatch right here. You can copy those settings down if you want. And then I do that. Now, the reason I do that is because when you cut it out, you might have like some like, you know, see how like it's a little bit black there white and whatnot. It wasn't perfect, but like it's good enough because the way I preview thumbnails is that they're going to be seen from here. So it's not going to really matter. So the reason why I crosshatch is because it looks better, not just from afar, but if you have like any like mistakes while cropping it out, it kind of smooths it out and kind of makes it blends with it. So that's why I do that. And then for the background, I usually go filter, blur, radial, and then I go ahead and do a spin. And I usually do it around five to six. Good. And then there you go. And a lot of people just seem to like this thumbnail alone. Like it already looks pretty decent on its own. So what you could do is you can go ahead and add a gradient from right here and you can add even more to it. So like, let's say I want to go ahead and make the ground, like I want to give it a red. Say it looks like that or like white or like give it a bit more green. It doesn't really look that good. So what I'll do is I'll maybe tone down the gradient and then like go ahead and size the character more like that. And I make sure to proportion it correctly. There we go. And like, so there you go. Now, if we look at it again, it looks it looks a bit better now since we reportioned it and whatnot. But uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, boop boop. You could also go ahead and you know black out the background as well. And I guess people like that. You know, it really depends on how you are. Uh, I don't really do this too much anymore. I used to do it a lot, but I don't do it too much. It's up to you though. All right, make sure you have a new layer. Go ahead and grab the paint bucket. If it's a gradient tool for you, just go ahead and hold down and then go to the paint bucket. Fill it in, doesn't matter what color, and then take the fill all the way to 0% and then go to blending options and then go to inner shadow. And really, this is how I've been doing it recently. You can go ahead and do whatever you want. 10, you can do 15. I'll do 15 for this one. You can copy that. And then I right click rasterize layer style and then it's just a plain black box i usually do it this way because it's more even it's actually it has the correct 
whatever, whatever. <laughs> Basically, it's perfectly positioned. So now what I do is I do soft light, and then I right click, blending options, and then I go to drop shadow. And you can go ahead and copy down those settings. And now we actually have the little box border thing with a drop shadow, and it's really nice. I like it. I kind of got this style from like certain YouTubers. I forgot who who is who. Uh, RKY style basically is where you just copy, uh, fill it in, and then you put an inner glow on the edges. Uh, I try to differentiate from that a little with this. So yeah. Also, if this seems a bit small, what you can do is just like go ahead and just do that, and then go ahead and do it like that. Now, if you seem kind of small, because when it's kind of small, that's God, I'm saying it so much. I, I like to make it a bit bigger, so it's a bit, bit better on the eye. Because remember, you're going to see it from far. And there we go. It looks even better now. Now, this next thing is, you guys may not have it. So, if you guys can't, if you guys don't have it, you can't find it, just go ahead and look up color, uh, color corrections. Yeah. It's basically the same thing as this. I just use this because it's built in and easy. So, what I do is, if you guys do have this, I usually do Kodak 218. And there we go. That's basically how my thumbnails look. I guess a bit different. I don't really do too much on my thumbnails. I could do a bit more, but this is how I do them at the moment. And if you guys want to do it a bit more special, what you can do is you can go down here on the background copy or, you know, the basically everything that you cut out from the background. Uh, you can go ahead and add another color lookup. And I believe it's, let me check. I think it's the top one right here. Yeah. What you could do is you go ahead and add like a little dark background and then up here add that and and it gives it a nice dark effect. You guys can go ahead and do that if you want. Uh, I did it in my 1K sub uh, montage thumbnail and it actually looked, it came out really nice. So you guys can go ahead and do that if you want. It's all up to you. And really that's it. Um, that's how my thumbnails are basically made. If I ever want to add on more to it for like example. So let's say I want to add something to the thumbnail like a notification or like that 1K sub pack thing showcase. So... What I do is I go into here, let's say I want to like add it in. What I do is I'll go ahead and do it like that. You got to make sure the text is big enough to see because this is, remember, it's going to be seen quite far. So what I'll do is I'll try to place it in a clever spot like that and then go ahead and add my settings to it. Like gradient, a drop shadow and an inner glow or don't add a drop shadow. Go ahead and rasterize it because what you want to do is you always want to add the drop shadow later on. Uh, go ahead and do that and then drop shadow. Yeah, so like if I want to add something that I want to showcase in the video I would do something like that like I'll add in the uh, Object or whatever it is and then I'll put effects on it like I would do with the character and then I add a drop shadow to it I always add drop shadows. They look nice <laughs> Now let's say I want to do text text is Like on the yay video where it has like yay yay yay. I'll grab the text and then let's say I want to put in uh, nay now it's kind of hard to see, but we'll fix that really quickly. What you do is go to blending options and then just drop shadow and then boom, done. White text with drop shadow always looks good. But uh, let's say I want to add a bit more to that. What we can do is we can normal gradient and then we can, this is kind of an old style, but we can do is we can do it like that and then kind of line it up right here and we'll make the dark color a bit lighter. And there you go. You know, you have like this little style. Uh, go ahead and lower the inner glow, and yeah, it's just as simple as that, honestly. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it like that. <laughs> it's really easy to do this sort of stuff, so I'll go ahead and make the PT a bit bigger so the text is bigger, and then boom. And there you go, you got yourself some text, like that. It, it wasn't that hard at all. It's really easy to do it. Also, let me go ahead and rasterize it and then boom. See, it's really easy to do the text as well. You can do any color you want. I usually do white on my thumbnails and yeah, it just looks good. So there's my text style, I guess. I don't even know, man. And that's really it. Um, the other ways I do my other thumbnails, like if I want to take a screenshot from within the recording, uh, what I do is typically the same process on a replay mod thumbnail, and I guess I'll show you guys really quickly. So basically, Vegas, or Sony Vegas, has this option while editing, you can go ahead and take a snapshot of that exact frame you're on while editing it. So, let's say there's a uh, frame that I really want 
the take from the recording that can like match up with the title so for example the skyblock video what i wanted in that was like to showcase how my island looked at the uh start of the thumbnail like and basically it lines up perfectly god i'm using that word a lot so this right here is a perfect example this thumbnail was on skyblock one if you guys remember that so basically the process is the same i go ahead and i scale it kind of to where it's fair enough you know let me do that and there we go and then again i do crop them out uh of course you guys are always gonna have to crop it out that is the one key aspect you're always gonna have to do boom there we go and then yeah go ahead and add in your text as well so another thing i like to do is let's say if i want to make the text pop out a bit more is i right click it i rasterize tell me if i'm saying that wrong i probably am so yeah uh i make a new layer i control l it which is basically levels i turn it completely black and then i control t and then i like move it into a certain direction and it kind of pops out a bit more and you can make that to any color you want. You do whatever. What you can do is you can go back to the first layer and then add a new stroke to it. And this makes it look very, very nice. <laughs> there you go. And yeah, it just, it just adds a lot to it. You got a drop shadow. And then if you want to be fancy, add another drop shadow to the back. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and actually for the stroke, what we'll do is we'll do a gradient. And there you go. It is it's as simple as that. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you guys. I know a lot of you guys don't have Photoshop out there. So if you guys want me to, if this video gets 169 likes, which I don't know if it will or not, but if it does, I'll try to release a tutorial where I do paint.net instead, since paint.net is a free program that I can use and hopefully try to replicate as best as I can to my abilities. And another is this virtually works on anything. So Let's say if I want to do a screenshot of, let's just use this one that I have in Natasha for some reason. Uh, the, what the hell even is this? But basically, yeah, if I want to go ahead and do what I do to my other thumbnails, we have the character right here. There is multiple characters on the screen. I'm going to ignore them, but if you wanted to like add multiple characters, you can go ahead and just, you know, crop out them as well and add their, add in their effects. Just make sure to portion it, proportion it correctly or size it or whatever and boom there it is so yeah you can really apply it to anything it really goes well if you do it well <laughs> so yeah as you can see from that even from the screenshot we basically replicated the same process and it came out nice in my opinion so as long as you do it right you proportion it correctly everything should be fine so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys uh i'd be interested to see how many people will use this and do their thumbnails and incorporate into it i'll be very very looking forward to see that so yeah i hope this helped guys there could be a lot more to cover in the future but that's for the later date <laughs> that's for a later date so yeah i love you guys so much let me know down in the comments below if this tutorial helped or if you liked it so yeah i love you guys see you later peace